Hello from Slidenode and hello from Weaves. What's up folks? In this video, I am continuing my discussion about relative layouts which I had started talking about in my last video. I showed you guys something about center, centering the view elements inside your parent that is your relative layout, right? In this video, let me discuss some more attributes. Now remember, before we talk anything, you guys need to get one picture straight in your head. Your relative layout is nothing but just a big blank wall, alright? And all your controls are like chewing gum. You just stick your controls on the wall from all sides and that ensures that you have a good appearance. Now let me exactly tell the meaning of what this is with some attributes over here. So here again, I have, a, I have some rules over here. I'm going to talk about XML attributes for your relative layout. They are going to have true or false values. And if you are using the relative layout in Java, then there are some values that you can use. These are inside your relative layout class in Java. So what is the rule? Align the edge of this view with its parent edge. Now, what does that mean? Let us discuss those in the, with the help of a nice picture. But before that, let me show you the attributes. There's align parent top, align parent bottom, align parent left, and align parent right. Now, these are the Java values which you have inside your relative layout class, and these are your XML attributes. Now, you guys look at this if you're beginners and you're wondering what it means. So let me actually show you some pictures and show you guys how these things work. So first, what you have is you have a button. Now this is where your button actually goes inside a relative layout by default. So you have something like this button Android ID is at the read ID button, layout width, wrap content, height is wrap content and Android text is button. But now you can add an attribute which says something like this, Al align layout align parent left is true. Now what does this mean? This means that stick the left side of the button with the left side of your relative layout. Simple, right? And of course, now you guys are probably wondering that, hey, the left side of the relative layout is so big. Why is the button only stuck up at the top? That's because this is where the left edge starts, right? It just goes to the start. That's how it works by default. Or you can also say layout align parent top equals to true. That also gives you the same effect in your visual uh, appearance. All right. Now, what happens in this case is that your top edge of the button, your top edge of the button and the top edge of the relative layout are stuck with each other like glue. Now, as I said, your relative layout is like chewing gum. You just take your controls from edges or from the centers and that's how relative layout works. So let's go ahead and find some more options about how this works in a better way. Now here, if you guys notice, your button is probably going to be on the right side. Now, how did I do this? Well, simple. I have the same button, I have the same width, height and everything. But here, if you guys notice, I said align layout, align parent, right equals to true. What I'm trying to say is the right edge of the button should be stuck with the right edge of the relative layout at the starting point from where it starts, right? So this is what your layout align parent right does. And then there is one more, last but not the least. I've said align parent bottom equals to true over here. In that case, the bottom edge of the button and your bottom edge of the relative layout are stuck with each other. So now let's actually go ahead and see what happens when there is more than one attribute together. Now that you guys have seen the effect of individual attributes. Let us say I say align parent top equals to true and I say align parent bottom equals to true. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to stick the top edge of the button on the top side and the bottom edge of the button on the bottom side of the relative layout. So how do you think that will look? Well, simple, right? The top edge stuck at the top side of the relative layout. The bottom edge stuck at the bottom side of the relative layout. This is what happens. The button gets stretched vertically, right? As I told you, it's just like a chewing gum. You just have to think about what you will do with a chewing gum on a wall, right? Very simple. Again, if you say align parent left equals to true and align parent right equals to true, what you're trying to do is you're trying to stick the left side of your button with the left side of the relative layout and the right side of the button with the right side of the relative layout. So this is how it looks. Take a look. Left side button stuck with left side relative layout. Right side stuck with right side, right? That looks, this is just the way you want it. Again, one more example just to show you guys. If I say align parent left is true, I'm sticking it up with the left side. Align parent right is true, I'm sticking it up with the right side. And then I say align parent bottom is true. So what is going to happen is that the button gets pulled all the way to the bottom. So take a look, these three conditions are satisfied over here. You have the bottom edge of the button, st stick with the bottom side of the lay layout. The left side stuck here, the right side stuck here, right? This looks great. That's how the three attributes combined work together. And last but not the least, what happens when I put all four of them? Align parent left is true, right is true, bottom is true, and top is true. In this case, you guys can simply imagine it's going to be stuck at all sides. It's very simple to imagine, right? You have the left side completely stuck. Then you have the right side completely stuck. The top side is also stuck and the bottom side is also stuck, right? Pretty simple to understand. So now let's talk about this. What happens when you actually put another view over here? 
So what I have is here I have the same button. I have the same align pattern bottom true, left true, right true and top true. That means the button has taken the complete space on your screen, right? And below that I have a text view which I have not specified anything about it. I've just added it just like that. What happens? Take a look. The text view goes on top of the button. Now this is the default behavior of a relative layout. Whenever you keep adding control, they just get added on top of each other. So what needs to be done here is you also need to specify where this text view is going to appear in relation to this button. Now that is why it's called a relative layout because you re so far you guys saw how to specify relationship between the view and the parent that is the relative layout. Now you guys are also going to see what is what relation to be specified between two views with respect to each other. For example, what I can say is I can say that this text view should appear above the button or I can say it should appear to the left side of the button or to the right side or to below the button. Now those attributes, there are more attributes for dealing with that. In the next video, I'm going to talk about those attributes in detail. In the meantime, if you guys like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day.